Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Serie A Team of the Season came out today. I want to talk about the stuff that happened on this game, on the market, talk about all that sort of stuff, as well as talk to you guys about why these freaking Team of the Season cards are so dang cheap. Why are these cards so cheap day one when you have an amazing center back like Costas Manolas, who is 200,000 coins? Like, what is up? With this card being 200k for these kind of stats, we're talking 90s in every defending position possible. Uh, that's a sick looking card for 200k at this stage of the game as well. I want to talk about that. Talk about the other market movements on out of packs specials today. What kind of stuff we could try to do overnight for maybe some flips, possibly some flips. And just talk about these new cards as well as the new content that came out as well. Of course, as you guys probably do know, you have seen the team. This is the squad. It was very accurate. I think it was actually spot on from what the people said was going to happen. Yesterday in my video, I talked about leaks. And those leaks were pretty much accurate, I think, uh, based on the cards that came out today. So, GG's if you're a leaker. You got it right um, from what you probably already knew. But anyways, um, some nice cards in here. Again, if you look at this team as a whole, though so cheap in value look at all the cards under 500k uh one we have all but one two three four we have five cards well almost six insignia is right at 500k we have five to six cards that are above 500k in this entire team in this entire team five cards over uh 500 000 coins which is wild this is probably going to be one of the cheapest sets of tots cards yet if you're doing rewards on thursday if you're getting elite and it's hard for you to get elite and you don't think you're going to have the time or you just don't want to grind it through the sweat fest of weekend league please just stop at gold gold three honestly gold three gold two uh because you know it's probably not worth getting the elite pack this week unless you get an insignia one of six players you have to get to make it like worth it i know there's a couple players in here that are like 200,000 coins but smalling is going to be under 200k after the weekend league ends manolis is going to be down to 200k you know, a lot of these guys are going to still drop. Like, we're still talking. These are Friday, Saturday prices, man. A lot of times, if you look at the Friday, Saturday prices for a lot of the TOTS cards, they continue to drop off. So, and I feel like that's going to happen with these cards as well. Um, but I want to talk about a few of these specifically. Uh, talking with the high end first, we got Man Bun, Cristiano Ronaldo. Kind of a weird dynamic image with the Man Bun. But... 5.2 mil on the Xbox, 7.1 on the PlayStation. And if we look at the team of the year, who is similarly priced at the moment, um, if you have the team of the year or the team of the season, I would highly consider, uh, I think I would cash out, man. The team of the year went actually went up today. It was like 7.6 or 7.5 on PlayStation at one point before the content drop. I saw a couple, I think I saw like a 6.599 got listed up. I was watching this a little bit, but... Uh, he boomed back up to 7 mil after the TOTS card came out. I would sell uh, the Team of the Year version and honestly the TOTS version. I think this card is going to be 6.5 million coins below or, or low, but or lower than that, if I could speak. 6.5 or below uh, by the time Sunday night comes around because there are just to see the amount of Ronaldos that were popping up on the game this week, there's a lot of them. And that's going to be happening today on Saturday and tomorrow on Sunday with lightning rounds. These TOTS cards are very, very supplied, and that's why we see prices dropping off week after week after week with the previous cards is because a new team comes out. They're honestly even cheaper, and it's just more blue cards for people to try on their team. So I would expect this to be down at 6.5 or lower later this week for sure. The Bala got the four-star weak foot. He's one of the more hyped-up cards. You know, it makes it interesting with a four-star weak foot in game. This guy's around a mil. Uh, Latara Martinez was is extinct at 1.9 earlier today on uh, PlayStation. And then dude is now 1.7. Uh, I still feel like this guy has got room to drop. I know it's a pretty stacked card, pretty ridiculous card. Um, but I don't really feel like this is something that I'd be too interested in. You know, this Xbox price uh, thing here is interesting to me. He was 1.3, went to 1.5, and is now coming back down. On Xbox, if you want to be pretty risky... It says he's 134 right now. I feel like you might be able to buy this card at that low 13s. You might be able to sell it tomorrow morning at like a 15, maybe a 15 or maybe a smidge higher, you know? I feel like it's possible cuz people want to try this card out. It's a very good card. It's got the hype. I mean, the really hype cards in the set are Gomez, Dybala, Mar Martinez, 
Ronaldo, I would say that possibly Teo Hernandez has got a little hype. SMS possibly nine Golan are like, there's just a couple hype cards. Like the rest are just kind of like, they're good, but they're not amazing. Uh, you know, in my opinion, Gomez is probably the most hyped up though, besides Ronaldo and Dybala and Lataro, because this card got an absolute juiced, juice set of statistics. But these prices are going to continue to fall just throughout the rest of the week, as we've seen with a lot of the TOTS cards. One thing I do want to point out today, if you want to get a bit risky, right? We always talk about overnight flipping. While you guys are watching this video, a lot of the cards have actually risen up from where they were. This card was a million coins earlier tonight. Um, Dybala was 960, and now he is up to a mil, right? Dybala was 960K. He's now up to a mil. Actually, there's a couple at 990. But a lot of these cards have rebounded up. Even a guy like Luis Alberto, right? This Luis Alberto card, 97 rated, um, was... 420, 415,000 coins. He's back to 450. That's a pretty quick rebound on some of these cards. These guys are actually kind of rare. It's weird, but a lot of these cards are actually kind of rare. I think that's because just the lack of people opening packs. Um, a lot of these cards are pretty rare. Look at Nine Golan. I compare price, and he has three, four pages of compare price supply. That's like, uh, we're talking like 20, 30 cards on the market right there for a 93 rated Nine Golan. He's pretty rare anyway. Uh, but some of these top tier guys are pretty, pretty rare. I think they could rise up a little bit into the morning, some of them. Even this Teo Hernandez, I picked one up on here for a 400k uh, bid flat. I've been kind of watching this card tonight. Just because, you know, I think I could get a sale from going like 400,000 coins, maybe to like 430, 440 uh, in the Saturday morning time. UK. So I think there's a couple flipping scenarios you could get with these guys. Just look at their flipping graphs, right? And if you see a kind of a drop off from where they were earlier, or they were high, now they dropped off. They'll rise a little bit into the morning on Saturday uh, on the UK time. Early afternoon UK time, though, you want to get these guys out because they're going to start being sold off as people sell these cards before the 6 p.m. lightning round set. And that's the one thing I wanted to point out with this Papu Gomez card. This guy is hyped up and he's rare, right? The rare cards, we've seen this happen multiple times the last few weeks. What happened with Werner last week? He went from 1.6 overnight down to 1.4 flat right before lightning rounds, back up to 1.6 two hours after lightning rounds started on Saturday. So watch that again today with Gomez, with Hernandez, with Milinkovic, Savage, Dybala, uh, even Ronaldo and Lataro Martinez. Like the, the five or six most hyped players that are rare in just because they're expensive and they're just rare cards, nine Golan as well. Watch for them to drop off into the 6 p.m. time frame today. And you might be able, if you want to play a few weekly games with one of those cards or try a few of them out, there's going to be a window where you might be able to buy like this nine Golan, 50, 60, 70K cheaper around 6 p.m. UK or right before 6 p.m. when the lighting rounds drop. And then people go back and they buy the cards because maybe they open some packs. Uh, and they thought the price was going to go lower, but it actually uh, restarts rebounding back up. People buy back those cards to go continue playing the weekend league. Uh, so that's one thing that I would look for today. Kind of like a panic sell right before 6 p.m. UK. And then a rebound on some of the hot, the top high tier. Uh, Syria, Kaushua. It's Syria, right? It was Kaushua like last year. Syria Tots card. So I would be on the lookout for some of that. The lower tier cards... Probably just going to keep going lower. Devridge, um, or Devry, Chesney, uh, Acherby, Bern Bern Berardi, Pellegrini, uh, maybe even like Ilicic and Handanovic. Those guys are probably just going to keep chilling and, and dropping down in price a little bit more throughout the day today. Let's talk about something else. Out of packs, Serie A specials. The tale of two stories today. I'm going to show you two cards. Two cards today. The tale of two stories. This is kind of like a fun little... I don't know, fun little title or like series, I guess you could call. Headliner Mertens. And I think almost all of Mertens special cards are through the roof. I bought eight Mertens on Wednesday for 230 to 240 because I, I thought regardless of whether this guy gets into tots or not, and I didn't think he was going to, I felt like this card was just too cheap because when this team of the season came out, Mertens is a meta card a lot of people want to use to link up. This guy was 230, 240 on Wednesday. He is now 320,000 coins. So he's up almost 100K, and that's a GG uh, if you got in with that and if you bought early. Uh, because, you know, some people invested in this and they made coins today. 
but because he didn't get a tots and he's still super meta, people want to link him up to a nine Golan, maybe to the new Allen uh, center mid CDM SBC that came out today. Uh, this card continued to go up and it's also a pretty rare card. So that card continued to go up. If you've got one of those, I would sell it before the weekend league ends. What's the other side of the coin? An other side of the coin is this guy, Hans Hatebauer. A lot of people went out and bought this card today because they thought he was going to rise as they only saw Quadrado being the right back that was in the team. Now, granted, Quadrado's right back card is pretty good. It's pretty good for like a right back, right wing back. It's actually pretty comparable to this card, but not quite as good to this Hatebauer. And it's only like 50, 60K more. And it's going to end up being cheaper. But what happened today was... People went out and they rash bought this hate bauer card since there was only one right back in tots and this guy went crashing back down in price because people went out and just, they just used quadrado instead or there wasn't as much hype for this card so that was like the tail of the tape today between some of the Syria specials actually went down in price because they were over invested people thought that they were going to rise with the new team coming out but honestly if you're going to go use one of the tots cards from Syria, they're so cheap you don't really have to buy another out of packs special card to link with them. You can just go buy another Tots card, right? Because if you want to buy Smalling, Quadrado, and let's say you did Allen today, Smalling, Quadrado, and Allen, you're going to build a Serie A team, and that replaces some of the guys in your squad. I mean, that's only like 500k coins. Smalling, Quadrado is 440. Uh, and then I guess if you wanted to use a, a center mid, you know, you have to pay a little bit more. But the Tots cards are just so cheap that a lot of these cards that didn't get a Tots card. They just kind of got replaced by a better version. Like Quadrado definitely plays his hate power. 90 passing compared to 79. 98 pace compared to 90. 87 physical. 86 defense. 96 dribbling. So Quadrado is only 60k more than this. And he's a more of a household name. And he's just way better. So that's why you saw a card like this go down today. Is it the end for a lot of these special cards? No, 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 no. These cards are going to rise back again. Uh, again, that was a nice voice crack but right there, by the way. Courtesy of uh, me talking for a long time. Uh, Juan Jesus was somebody who I bought a decent amount of this week. I bought him in the 40s. Bought him like 42, 43,000 coins. He was like 60K, I think, this morning. The reason why, you know, Juan Jesus is still not a terrible buy for like weekend league sell-off. But there's four center backs in this team. I know he's Brazilian. I know that gives him links. But you have Smalling, Manolas, De Vrij, and a Cherby in this squad. I'm not a huge fan of center backs, uh, but just watch for the sell-off of the Serie A special cards this weekend because there is going to be a time to buy some of these um, that people are going to need to go link maybe the rest of their Serie A teams. Now, I haven't looked at a lot of the Serie A special cards, to be honest with you. This is somebody that I'm actually curious about. I haven't looked at this guy's price today. What did Franck Ribéry do today? I want his shapeshifter card. Did the shapeshifter Ribéry go up? Did it go down? It went up a little bit. Wow, one mil flat for Ribéry? Should I be buying this? Is this a, like a quick little like 30k profit I can make here? Is Ribéry been up today? Flippin says 1.07. Um, he was 1.05, so that would cover tax. He was 1.1. You know what? We're going to give it a shot, man. We're going to give it a shot. Let's flip this Franck Ribéry. For like 20 to 30k profit maybe in the morning maybe i can get like a 10 go with 1080 now let's go 1087 right let's see if we can get a sale at 10 uh 87 overnight tonight i'll list that for one hour and then i'll come back to it make it maybe a cheeky like 30k profit right there if i get two to sell we're looking good but um just watch for the siri a stuff if you bought siri a out of pax cards and they went down today i think nine golden might have went down just be patient because I think these cards are going to rebound again as we head out of the weekend league. Yeah, this guy definitely went down because he was like 2 260, 270. He is now 220. Yeah, 220k for nine goal when he was 260, 270. So some of these cards went down because they were overinvested in. People thought they were gonna there was gonna be hype for Serie A today. And the hype for the Serie A is just not just not as hype as the other leagues. I think that's why you didn't see a lot of rises on most. Serie A specials. So just be careful with that. One thing I would look for is since we got this Allen SBC today, which is pretty good value, both of these Allens I think are pretty good value. But of course, you want to do this one, right? Of course, you want to do the 91. 
Watch for CDMs being panic sold in this league if they're meta, like Tonali. Oh, man. How much is Tonali right now? How much is Tonali? Because this is a card that I would get interested in really, really quick because of what happened to Alexandro today. How much is this guy? Okay, so he's down a little bit. He was 400k midweek. And with the Sandro today, he says it's 411. This is somebody that I would be interested in, maybe in some weekend league sell-off because of the Sandro SBC, or excuse me, the Allen SBC having a bit of an effect on him, dropping his price lower. This morning, this guy was 460k, 430. He dropped down to 377. Wow, look at this. That was your time right there, man, in the panic cell, 377. If you see this guy getting back in like the 370, 380 range, weekly sell-off, that is a buy for me because this is a very good card. A lot of people might use to link together some Serie A cards if they're going to try a Serie A Tots team. And, you know, it's not Allen, right? So maybe you go Allen and Tonali as your CDMs if you're going to try a Serie A Tots team or some cards for Serie A Tots. Just maybe pick up some CDMs because the past few weeks, CDMs, have risen because the past couple weeks, day one, and this is where I'm gonna end the video by talking off, talking about some of the content we got today. The past few weeks, we've gotten a good value center mid or CDM on that first Friday. Literally every single week. Think about Ndidi, think about Saul, think about Witzel last week, and then another premium uh, SBC for a very good value center mid, center defensive mid. This time it is Allen. A lot of people are gonna do this. You know, probably link some Brazilian links with maybe a Telus Tots, maybe a Sandro. The perfect little triangle you could make here would be Manolas Tots, Allen at CDM, and then an Alexandro uh, Player Moments. Is it a Player Moments or is it a flashback? What is this one? Uh, Alexandro. It is a Player Moments. Like this card right here, bro. I think a lot of people are going to end up crafting this, this card this week. I'm going to probably end up crafting it. Just in case I pack Ronaldo, you know, need some links. And because I might do Allen as well, um, that is a card that uh, I feel like a lot of people are going to do. And you can make a nice triangle with Allen, Sandro, and Manolis or another Serie A Tots card. Or even Militao, make a little Brazilian kind of left, left side triangle if you wanted to with that. So that was pretty good SBC content that we got today. And then the two objective players, they were all right. Jao Pedro is, is okay. That's a funny dynamic image. I don't know how much this guy really fits the meta. I haven't looked at his at his in games, um, but it just looks like kind of an okay card. You do have to play some rivals games, so that's maybe a bit of a assist and win eight separate rivals games. Wow. I mean, this card looks all right, but he's six foot, doesn't have really good agility and balance, doesn't fit the meta that well. But it's a 92 rated tots card if you want to grind it. Another 89 rated squad battles card that you can grind as well for a left mid. And of course, Sabitzer, Mateu, and um, those guys are still there. So that was kind of the content and the uh, that's kind of my thoughts for what's happening today and what happened on Friday and what could happen today on Saturday. I would expect another SBC today. Let me talk about SBC fodder because a lot of you guys are asking about SBC fodder. I think that since we had a drop in price today on some of the 84s, the 85s, and the 86s, we are in club stock category. It's club stock time for these cards. I know a lot of the 87s, 88s, 89s are super duper cheap. Duper cheap. I don't think I would do anything more than buy one of these and put it in the club. If you want to do a club stock, if you haven't already, I've already done my high rated club stock. They've gone down since I club stocked him, but I don't care because that's an investment. I know these guys will go higher if there's a high rated SBC that comes out. It requires a lot of high rated cards. I would not really invest in a lot of these though. 87s may be okay. You could invest in some of them, but so many people have untradeable TOTS cards and TOTS cards in the market are so cheap nowadays. Look at the cheapest 90, 91 through 94 rated players. They're all cheap TOTS. Cheap TOTS are flooding the market with high rated SBC fodder. People are crafting packs. They don't need as many of these 89s. When they're doing 86, 87, 88 rated squads, they need a lot of the 84, 85, 86 players because they have a high rated TOTS. They need a lot of lower rated ones. So that's why I'm a fan of these prices right now. These are dropping back down, especially Ibrahimovic, Higuain, uh, Lukaku, guys that link well, especially Serie A cards. I'm a fan of Scrini R. Wow. This, this right here, if you're somebody that wants to go millions unassigned, or if this is a guy that this is the guy to go big time unassigned with, especially this week with Serie A tots requirements. Look at this. 
How many times on this graph do you see 14K? There's 16K, 15K. There's 16K. Uh, 14,000 coins. The last time Screenyard hit 14K was in February, bro, right? This is the type of card that you would go crazy on. Center back from the Serie A, if we get one good value SBC that comes out during this time that is requires Serie A cards, that is seriously like a full freaking send. So if you're an SBC fodder guy, I just helped you out there. Regardless, stock the club. I bought a Lukaku tonight. I bought a Higuain tonight. 84s, 80, not 84s, but 85s and 86s to me look really solid at this price range. Really solid at this price range. 13K for 86s is about as cheap as they come, bro. It is honestly about as cheap as they come. So under 14K for basically all of these cards, I'm a fan. You might say, Nate, why don't I wait to buy during lighting rounds? That's when everybody else looks to buy. So why would you buy when everybody else is looking to buy? If you're going to go during lighting rounds, just try to get some on bid. Of course, then if you wait to buy, you're of course risking the fact that they would um, release another SBC that would require that would make these go up in price too, and that would be a that would be a problem as well um, for if you're going to invest in these. If the price goes up because of another SBC, so I would say maybe get on some bids. The sooner you can buy 85s, especially um, the sooner you can maybe stack on some of those, the better. Try to get them as close to 6K as possible. Um, earlier tonight, I got a, I got all my 85s right around 6k. This Hamas Rodriguez as close to 6k from as possible. Be very good. Uh, Bruno Fernandez, you know, 6k ish would be very good. De Young would be a very good one to get for around like 7k ish under 6k. Very good links, very easy links, you know, but of course pick up your Serie A special cards too. Cause those rise up with the Serie A requirements. Or the SBCs. All right, I talked a lot about Serie A's right there. Serie A rare golds. If you're trying to buy those under 1.4, 1.5k, try to snag those even lower if you can. League un rares. If you're trying to get those, kind of the same. One two, one three, one four. During the lightning rounds on bid and stuff like that, I wouldn't pay too much more for those if you didn't have to. But that's how I feel about the market today, boys. I would get in on some SBC fodder sooner rather than later because there's more SBCs coming. I would assume. And watch these Tots cards fluctuate in price and ultimately just heading down out of the weekend league. These cards are going to drop more. I almost can guarantee it. But they might rise up a bit this morning and into Saturday with the hype and with the rarity that these cards do have as people maybe try them out for the weekend league. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.